So for your elaborate talk, I'm going to invite our next speaker. Uh, she is uh, Dr. Farheen and uh, she's currently head of microbiology department, ESA Laboratories, Karachi. She has previously been head of microbiology and infection control at Al Khidmat Foundation. And she's also been the head of infection and lab control at the Lady Dufferin Hospital. And uh, ma'am, please join us on stage. Thank you. Antimicrobials are the pillars of the modern medicines and have contributed to the progress of the healthcare during the last half century. Antimicrobial resistance is a global public health concern and is extensively implicated and, and is extensively and uh, associated with the health and economic implications. Dear faculty and colleagues, I'm Dr. Farheen Mubashir from Dr. Isa Laboratory and Diagnostics. And uh, I will be talking about the use and abuse of antibiotics and medical practice. I have no conflict of interest to disclose. Both the use of the antibiotics and the resulting resistance to them are increasing. In the last 15 years, the global antibiotic consumption grew 40%. The number of deaths from, United, from antibiotic resistant infections in the United States alone doubled in the last six years. And globally, 73% of antibiotics are used to fatten the cattle, pigs, and poultry for the human consumptions. Uh, so what is the antibiotic resistance and how it develops? Uh, the genes can be inherited from the relatives or can be acquired through the mobile genetic elements such as the plasmids. And this is the horizontal gene transfer can allow the antibiotic resistance to be transferred among the different species of the bacteria. The resistance can also occur spontaneously through mutations. Uh, genetic mutations causes the drug resistance. The non-resistant bacteria if exist, and if there is uh, mutations in the DNA, then a few of these bacteria will mutate. In the presence of the drug, only the drug-resistant bacteria survive. And this is the antibiotic selective pressure. And the drug-resistant bacteria then multiply and thrive. The gene transfer can also facilitate the spread of the drug resistance. The bacteria that have the drug-resistant DNA, it may, it may transfer a copy of these genes to other bacteria. Then the non-resistant bacteria become resistant in the presence of the drugs, and only the resistant bacteria survive multiply and thrive. Uh, antibiotic resistance also accelerated by uh, the antibiotic uh, selection pressure, and mainly the population of the resistant bacteria will survive. Implications. Uh, according to the CDC, the Center for the Disease Control and the Prevention, uh, United States alone, antibiotic resistance could add about $1,400 to the hospital bill for treating the patient with any bacterial infection. And this additional cost could go up significantly to more than $2 billion every year. High cost associated with expensive and intensive treatment and escalation in the resources utilization are the direct monetary effects of AMR on the healthcare. AMR could cost from $300 billion to more than $1 trillion annually by 2050 worldwide. Treating the patient with resistant infections may need the longer hospitalization stay as well as a more ICU and isolation beds in order to prevent the spread of the infection. Nosocomial outbreak with resistant pathogens, it may result in the closure of the wing of the hospital and the cancellation of the surgeries costing the hospital money. Uh, this table is taken from uh, the one of uh, the article it shows a mortality rate by 2050 due to AMR uh, will be significantly high among all the continents. Economic perspective, the CDC estimated that the cost of the antimicrobial resistance is $55 billion every year in the United States, $20 billion for healthcare and $35 billion for the loss of productivity. MDR-TB alone could cost the world $16.7 trillion by 2050, loss of the labor and premature deaths. When infections are no longer be treated by the first line antibiotics, then what happens? The more expensive antibiotics medicines must be used. 
Longer duration of the illness and the treatment often at the hospital increase the healthcare costs as well as economic burden on the families and the societies. Antibiotic resistance is putting the achievements of the modern medicines at risk. Uh, transplantations, chemotherapy and the surgeries such as cesarean sections becomes a much more dangerous without the effect of antibiotics for the prevention and treatment of the infections. Current challenges of the resistant organisms uh, uh, like MRSA, VRE, CRE, XDR, Salmonella typhi, and MDR Cyanobacter and other nosocomial infections outbreak also occur in the hospital like Mercurius hepatia and others. MRSA, the control of uh, MRSA remains a major healthcare challenge because this strain of the Staph aureus uh, is resistant to all beta antibiotics and the very few and the limited options are available to treat this infection. The last decade of 20th century saw the emergence of the infections due to novel clones of the MRSA in community setting unrelated to the healthcare. MRSA predominantly causes SSTI, bearing severity, sometimes cause of fetal C and ammonia, commonly acquired, and severe bone and joint infections. Infection control practices are most effective to control the MRSA by screening, contact precautions, decolonization of the patient with MRSA, and in order to reduce the cross-infection by eradicating or reduce the bacterial load on MRSA carrier, MRSA is basically the nasal carrier, and it can be decolonized by the mipirocin stops. Hygiene is the most important, considered to be the most effective infection control intervention. These are the references. Uh, VRE, the vancomycin resistant enterococcus. The article is the ongoing challenge of uh, the vancomycin resistant enterococcus facium and enterococcus faecalis. And uh, this analysis of the bloodstream infection. And this article was uh, um, published uh, in. Uh, emerging microbes and infections in 2020 and they concluded that the local and the regional authority should intensify the efforts directed at diagnostic and antimicrobial stewardship. For vancomycin at all the last resort of the drugs for the management of the VRA, particularly for the hospitalized elderly patients. CRE is the carbapenem resistant heterobacteriaceae and it includes the drug, the imipanem, and the merapenem, ertapenem. And CRE constitute a major threat to healthcare system because these infections uh, are difficult to treat and are commonly associated with a high mortality. Infections caused by the CRE, such as pneumonia and the BSI, are difficult to treat and are often associated with a high mortality. CRE become endemic in several healthcare institutions across the world. Importance of the new antibiotic against CRE is required. Antibiotic stewardship is essential for the appropriate and the rational use of the existing antibiotics. It is also possible that interruption in the health services and supplies disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic could result in the undetected propagation of the CRE. According to the most recent report of the CDC on antibiotic resistance in the U.S., there were 13,100 estimated CRE infection in hospitalized patients in 2017, with an estimated 1,100 death CDC drug resistant report of 2019. Treatment of CRE depends on the site of infection, patient's clinical condition, isolated pathogens, and the resistance profile. Treatment has been based on the combination regime, uh, polymyxin, stigocycline, phosphomycin, or the durable carbapenem, although resistance to these agents has been reported. CRE is a rapid emergence of asymptomatic infections in the for, in form of bacterial colonization also. So what are the causes? Inadequate diagnostic, very important. And these situations contribute to selective pressure and accelerate antimicrobial resistance. Inappropriate use. The patient may self-medicate or inadequate use of the antibiotics. The use of the antimicrobials, even when used appropriate, they creates a selective pressure for the resistant organism. Poor absorption of the antibiotics and drug-to-drug -drug interaction. Hospital-acquired infections, ICU-induced infections, and the extensive use of the antimicrobials and close contact among the sick patients creates a fertile environment for the spread of antimicrobial resistance germs. Scientists also believe that the Practice of adding the antibiotics to, uh, to agriculture feed for more the drug resistance. 
more than half of the antibiotics produced in the United States are used for the agriculture purpose. Uh, this is the review article, Antibiotic Use in the Agriculture and Its Consequential Resistance in Environmental. Uh, this review article was uh, published in a journal Molecule and they conclude that the continuous surveillance of the antibiotic resistant profiles of bacterial pathogens which are obtained from the humans, animals, food and other of public and environmental significance be implemented because of the high burden of infectious diseases. So how to prevent the antimicrobial resistance and the responsibilities of the doctors, healthcare workers, healthcare industry, patients and agriculture industry and the policy maker. Uh, the responsibilities of a doctor is meant to maintain the hand hygiene is very important. Hand hygiene is important uh, uh, to combat for any of uh, the infection, hygiene, instrumentation, hygiene and environmental prescribed antibiotic when indicated type, dose, frequency, and the duration. Report the antibiotic resistance to the surveillance team, educating the patient how to take the antibiotic correctly, and preventing the infections, vaccination, hand washing, safe sex, and covering the nose and mouth when sneezing. Uh, the role of the healthcare industry, invest in the research and development of new antibiotics, vaccines, diagnostics, and other tools. Role of the patient, only use the antibiotic when prescribed by the certified health professionals. Never give an antibiotic if your health worker says you don't need them. Always follow your health worker advice when using the antibiotics. Never share or use the leftover antibiotics. These are very important points. Prevent infection by regularly washing the hands, preparing the food hygienically. WHO5 keys to safer food. Keep the food at the safe temperature, use the safe water, raw materials, and choose a food that have been produced without the use of the antibiotics. Antibiotics in agriculture. Not use the antibiotics for the growth promotion or to prevent the disease in the healthy animals. Vaccinate the animals to reduce the need of, for antibiotics and use alternatives to antibiotics when available. Promote and apply the good practice at all the steps of the production and processing of the food. And improve the biosecurity in farms. The role of the policy maker. No antibiotic without prescription. Doctors should follow the guidelines of infection control. Educate the population. Ensure a robust national action plan to tackle the antibiotic resistance. Improve the surveillance of the antibiotic resistant infections. And the new drugs should be introduced placed by ineffective ones. Pharmaceutical collaboration with the fund providers, universities, and the government help in the new research. Uh, the GLASS is a global antimicrobial resistance surveillance system. Uh, the WHO uh, supports uh, the approach to the collection, analysis, and sharing of the data related to the antimicrobial resistance at a global level to inform the decision making, drive the local, national, and regional action. Um, this is a very important slide, the core elements of the antibiotic stewardship, starting from the enhancing infection prevention and the control, uh, controlling the source of infection, prescribing, prescribe the antibiotics when they are truly needed, prescribe the appropriate antibiotic with adequate dosages, using the shortest duration of, of antibiotic based on evidence, reassess the treatment when culture results are available. Supporting the surveillance of AMR and HAI and monitoring of the antibiotic consumptions, educating of the staff, supporting an interdisciplinary approach. WHO uh, Global Action Plan, tackling the antibiotic resistance is a high priority for the WHO. The Global Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance was endorsed at uh, World Health Assembly in May 2015. And uh, this uh, aims to ensure the prevention and treatment of infectious diseases with the safe and effective medicines. Uh, this plan on antimicrobial resistance has the five strategic objectives to improve the awareness and understanding of the antimicrobial resistance, to strengthen the surveillance and the research, to reduce the incidence of infection, and to optimize the use of antimicrobial medicines, and to ensure the sustainable investment in countering antimicrobial resistance. 
डब्ल्यू एच ओ द वर्ल्ड एंटी माइक्रोबल अवेयरनेस वीक हेल्थ एनवली सिंस टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दिस इज अ ग्लोबल कैंपिंग दट एम्स टू इंक्रीज द अवेयरनेस ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोबल रेजिस्टेंट वर्ल्ड वाइड दे इंक्लूड द एंटीबायोटिक्स एंटी वायरस एंटी फंगस एंड एंटी प्रोटोजोआ इट टेक्स प्लेस एवरी ईयर फ्रॉम एटीन ट्वेंटी फोर नवंबर दिस लोग एंटीबायोटिक्स चेंज टू एंटी माइक्रोवियल्स इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू रिफ्लेक्ट द ब्रॉडनिंग स्कोप ऑफ ड्रग इन्फेक्शंस Uh, a joint initiatives of WHO and drugs for neglected diseases these are basically the uh, the parasitic diseases initiative encourage research and development uh, uh, through the public private partnerships and by 2023 the partnership aims to develop and deliver up to the four new treatments Uh, the United Nations Secretary General has established IACG to improve the coordination between the international organization and also to ensure the effective global action against this threat to health security. Thank you so much respected faculty and colleagues.